this afternoon, I review the, re the guidelines for the use of PSMA PET scanning in patients with prostate cancer, primarily in patients with newly diagnosed prostate cancer. Uh, in general, uh, if patients have low risk or low intermediate risk prostate cancer, most guidelines don't recommend any imaging at all, only in patients with intermediate high risk, very high or high risk. Uh, our Im is imaging recommended. Historically, that's been conventional imaging with CT scans and bone scans, but with the advent of PSMA PET CT scans, things have evolved. Now, most of the guidelines do recommend using PSMA PET scans for those patients. Uh, ASCO guidelines, which is slightly outdated, was came out in 2020, recommends conventional imaging followed by PSMA PET scan in certain situations. But if you look at NCCN guideline, guidelines, and other uh, European guidelines, you'd see that they recommend going directly to PSMA PET CT uh, for the most part. And I think what's most important is NCCN doesn't th doesn't think you need to do conventional imaging in these patients, but you should just do PSMA PET scans. Part of that is based on a number of prospective trials suggesting or showing that PSMA PET CT is more sensitive than conventional imaging in, in that patient population.